上個星期玩完呢個 P 複合，今日嚟玩翻啲小品先。不過我真係唔知依個係點樣小品法。我睇啲 comment 就話佢入面有恐怖元素，但係講真啦，其實我睇佢個 trailer 嘅時候，其實我睇唔到有任何恐怖嘅成分咯，所以唔知佢係點樣嚇人法嘅。唉，不過算啦，玩呢啲輕輕鬆鬆好過玩蝙蝠球。<笑>唉，咁開始啦。It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing. Then it was turned into an army thing. Then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex, hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like ten minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say, Little Miss? I can see and hear things at the same time. Um, something about Bird Island or pancakes. I don't know. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> They met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a. You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah blah blah. They hit it off. Ah.、Uh... That's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was.、Um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out. So. And what does that make you to her then? Oh, now that's my second cousin. I don't know how people math works. We'll be like a roommate, really. No, but isn't there like a term for it? Um, step brother, technically. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house, sharing your toothbrush, wearing your clothes, eating your food. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pirate or something. Just a klepto, so you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub, and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh! We should get a quick picture, all of us. This will be like the before. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas, like Jonas Salk, right? Patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's Cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But oh, oh, actually, it's a little after ten o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the 
red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but no, nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh... No thanks, I don't smoke. Oh, that king Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... It'll take three minutes, Tom. Uh, what could you possibly have to say that Ren can't hear? It's not like Ren that. It's nothing, fine. really. It's just something I want to talk to you about super fast, that's all. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. No, it's, oh, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Well, how do you think I feel? My house just shrunk by half because my mom decided to get some in Florida. <laughs> no, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can... Catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. You know I want her. Oh, man. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block us off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like one oh two point three? I just wanna see how it works. Man, they 
close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trolling. Uh -huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Man, get a room, you soldiers. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down. And we, the Kamina High oh, junior class, the beaten path high. officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Wait, we're not allowed here after dark? So, like, what's our plan if we get caught? We won't! I had to promise Karen I'd shovel her driveway all winter so she'd just look the other way. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. the mouth of this particular cave, you can oh. sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible to get anywhere else on the island. Crazy, right? So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for, like, 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone, and actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so don't get too used All to it. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. Yeah, why, why do you, you even care? care about this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're my friend, and I'll miss you if you go. That's what a friend does. They miss the other person, and oh, I don't I, want I don't you to regret me. anything. So, yeah. Never mind. Oh, oh man. You big knucklehead. Do you, do you like I miss now? you too, okay? But oh, for now, oh, I'm not oh, gone oh, yet, oh, and oh, who knows oh, what oh, I'm going to oh, do, so... All right, all right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's okay. a saying. No, okay. it isn't. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Who's that? That's so. There's this girl. No. Oh, this. Oh, oh, this is the toy. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to go anywhere. Wow! This island is so so big. There are other places like this. But this is just a fake island. Oh. Una. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? Oh. No pouting or no complaining or anything, all right? Okay. Deal? Be cool. Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? 
Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, <laughs> fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Oh, yeah. Stepbrother. Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, you'd think he'd be a little old to need a babysitter, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, if I don't have anyone to burp me, it becomes a real issue. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... Oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what about me? What about you? Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Krueger. Uh, yeah, I think it's just whatever. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Like, Oldest so living resident. Like Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first we're gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa. Wait, wait, wait. I want to... Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good <laughs> means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex. <laughs> uh oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. 
I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. Oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. Yes, I mean, why would you have any control over the words and thoughts coming out of your face? Hey now, you can't control the sneeze. And I think this falls more in the realm of bodily function. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus... Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching all the day. Oh, Mum, yeah. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited oh, isn't the right oh. word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Well, as fine as you can be anyway, right? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation before. Okay, it, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But this isn't fair. Like, at all. I went super easy on you when it was my turn. And this is an easy one, too. Why'd your parents get divorced? I know you know why. Go to hell. That's my answer. Happy? Yeah, I won the turn. Of course I'm happy. All right, you know what? Let's just stop the game, okay? I think everyone's ready to do something else. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should... Like Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we can... And that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not going to let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab you if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? Uh, if you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Uh, yeah, oh. let's do it. Let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push <laughs> you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever you're ready. John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah. Unless so, uh, the cave. Yeah, but you bet, on a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not <laughs> ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, 
Who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, oh, never... you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. So just pull out your radio. No, 
右鍵可以刪嘢。While we're young, please. Seriously, Alex, just pull out your radio and tune it. Oh, fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the um, what's the like thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. 
truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. Hey, where's this gate go to? Uh, kitten, we're playing a game here. Be social and come play. Thank you for all right here. Okay, so first we're gonna I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. Oh man, you're good at this. Well if being good means being kinda mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a Let's friend. ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Okay, uh, just take it easy, all right? Tis all in good fun. Hey, no partnering up to be pansies. Silence! Okay, Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. Uh, and Jonas no, is family now, technically, so he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona... I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not gonna call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait, wait, that means oh, you kill me? You out of everyone here, your best friend. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. Hey, What's your favorite oh, stuffed animal? Um, um, Nona. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something uh, uh, fun and easy now. Ever uh, <laughs> pee in a swimming pool? Uh, <laughs> no. Super question, you're like an investigative journalist or something. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh. Uh, Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A better question would be, what would she get when the artist refused to draw two dogs eating a dead baby on her forehead? I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Well... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation. Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... let's not stop like this. We should... Like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... Yeah, That's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! 
if you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab you if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? No, you all got no idea. Uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. I can do it like you. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... They went to... The... You look... Relaxed? I am relaxed. Are you alright? Did something happen today or something? Something happens every day. Thanks for making the fire. Yeah, sure. Gotta put those owl scout lessons to use. You know, Ren, he's like, kinda like totally into you. Yeah, no crap. The guy was practically humping her leg when he asked her to this. It's not a big secret. No, he wasn't. No, no, Ren's, <sighs> he's harmless, okay? He can come off a little weird, and I know he clips his toenails in gym class, but his house is, like, right under those power lines, so... Look, Alex, Rin seems nice, and I know he's your friend and, you know, whatever, but I'm just not in the mood for something right now. Um, so if you could just, like, tell him that, just so he, like, doesn't get his hopes up or whatever. Just think about it, will you? He's not a bad guy. I know, but you think about it, too. How'd you get the fire started? We are the fire starter. A lighter. We are truly <laughs> marvels of modern science. Island living, huh? Uh, yep. Get any reception? Or... No, not really. I, uh, didn't realize our cell phones wouldn't work on the island. Kind of promised my dad I'd call him. He never used to be this, uh, needy, but since my mom died, he's kind of shortened the leash on me a bit. He's gonna be kind of pissed. Not a good way to start the move, huh? Oh, he'll be fine. He knows you're with me. I think that's what he's worried about. I'm just gonna write him a text so in case I wander into a couple of bars or something, he might get it. Let's hop this thing and check in with Run. All right, let's do it. Come on, I'll push you over. Whenever you're ready. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. <sighs> she told me to tell you that she's not in the mood for a relationship. Man, I knew when Clarissa dug in that it would screw the whole thing up with her. Ugh, this is so embarrassing. Ugh. Look, if it's any consolation, I told her to think about it, so the door isn't entirely closed yet, I don't think. <sighs> okay, okay, thanks. Now, 
who's ready to have their minds blown. If you don't mean that literally, I am... Yeah, the ceiling will be painted with our gray matter, I'm sure. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, never mind, that sounds worse. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna wanna stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... So, just pull out your radio. Any day. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. Wow. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. <laughs> this is so cool. I know! Yeah, Clarissa yeah, and Nona should see this, like, right? You know. I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. <laughs> it was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Uh, <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... <sighs> Brownies are kicking in. Well, that makes sense? Tell me if I start talking too much, yeah, or not enough. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. If you want to bring it on over... So, yeah, it sounds, uh... Yeah. It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous la Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin oh, wigs, or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a fresh water one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. That was an Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think. Shh, I think.
think I mismeasured the magic. Wow. Jonas, come back. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. <laughs> isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's honestly creeping me out. I feel like we're in Satan's underground lair. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but I mean, it's all just a cave. Just a natural cave. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? Beats me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, uh, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating... Um, triangle light thing? No, where? It's like in the the air, right there. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those um exist, right? Um, cave triangle rainbows. Uh, maybe. Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. No. 
no way. There's like 20 things wrong with that idea, with the number one being radios don't conjure light beams. Come on, it happened outside. It's not that far-fetched. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a... Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Alex, just... Look, I think you tuned in the tri... I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Come on, bring out the radio. Let's see if the triangle thing will react at all. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Did you stop? We don't even know what that thing is. Yeah, exactly. Let's find out. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Alex, Alex. Alex, are you okay? Not okay. You all right? <sighs> what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever, like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. How do you know it even works? It works. Let's just use the tower and try and phone somebody. 
No, I'm way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de-pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time to come clean- Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. Hardened Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. Hmm. The cleaning guy should probably lock this before he leaves. His stupidity is our gain. We need help. We're stuck on Edwards Island in the communications tower. It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I don't think so. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. You don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? Sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. <laughs> there's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Jesus! Oh man, whoever you are, we really need your help over here. Alex? Alex? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, just... It's been a rough night, you know? How'd you get this number? It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like 
Like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like Ren, are you alright? Like, physically alright? Because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not alright! I mean, do I sound alright or do I sound not alright? I probably sound not alright, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? What's that sound? Is there a cat crying in there? Ren, Wait, just... Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Huh? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. File. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait. I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to get out of here. Nobody wants to stay, Clarissa, but you know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's, like, a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want a truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children, Jonas. Don't get ahead of yourself. Act as if. That's all I'm gonna say. Act as if. <laughs> So, just curious, but um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us. Us, but not, and now we're here. Yeah, okay, but what does it all mean? That's between you and your priest. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. With, like trees. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're going. Not, uh, 
Not exactly. No. Not exactly. I got the map right here. It's fine. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Well, I'm not really surprised. Parks are pretty much parks. Unless you're in, like, Utah. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? <laughs> there's another, there's like another way down here. I can't believe you even- I've been here before, remember? We used to skip across here as kids, it's fine. <laughs> you were a bunch of psychos to ever try that, but good to know. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Okay,我們走到這裡,然後再走到這裡 Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like, just like a normal bridge with wood and slats? Yeah, it doesn't really look safe, does it? It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but I need power transfer station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Um, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal or something? All right, I'll go with that just because... What else am I going to do? I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. I'll be fine. Just say what I need to do. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... Uh, okay. Thanks. No problem. It's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. And you know Ren. If someone were to get electrocuted, it should be me, right? It makes some kind of circus sense. Yeah, Very true. All right. Um, okay. Do it. Uh, what's happening? Why'd the lights go out? I don't know. Is this even the right thing? There's only one thing. It's the only thing. If this doesn't work, there's nothing hey, else. don't worry. This will be just hey, another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. If we get home. It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay. Oh we'll just... God. There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Would have been better had it never been. 
That's... That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... <laughs> I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Uh, was that there before? Alex, are you all right? It's uh, just a chair, so. Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. <laughs> what a night, huh? What a night. Um, what does that mean? I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all right. the stuff that's happening is like really terrifying and annoying. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird, 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. <laughs> Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Says you, man. Praise oh. the Lord. Look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. So you're saying you were expecting it to? I half was, but it didn't, so... 
You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's what Ren made it sound that's like. Enough. Yeah. Well, I don't know about a lot, but. Um. A few times. Yeah, I can see this place. It's being cool, like in the summer or even in the spring. You got the park. You got the main. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It can be pretty nice. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like I don't know. Oh, like yeah, it's been abandoned. Oh, abandoned. I think if there are people here. 就都可以去找他們的球球 mm. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island, I mean... I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like Uh... Yeah? I only mention it because my family trips... were awful My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year Ugh... I mean, it was all we could afford, but still... That's a long drive for pretty much nothing. <laughs> Why was it so bad? There just was nothing to do. And my parents wanted to- Wait, wasn't this- <sighs> We passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. Yeah, so anyways, I think places are pretty much what you make of them, you know? And not the other way around. Yeah, I think I agree. It's just a theory, anyway. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Jonas, don't you hear yourself? You've already asked me this twice. I have? I don't really remember that, but... Jonas, seriously, you don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot, again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but... I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is it something else? We're, like, stuck in this area. Like, metaphysically stuck. <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying. This is all just so bizarre. Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed. But, okay, let's deal with this now. Sure. This is, uh, new. It kind of stinks. Yeah, it smells like it's been sitting in a diaper for a month. Oh, I need to drink more milk or something. Jeez. Um... What? What? So, it's oh, just... Oh, I thought it was just... Oh, I thought it was I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Alright, who are you? Alright, who are you? Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Uh, alright, let's not, um, make it weird now, radio people. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't want to play anymore? Oh my god. Alex, can you believe it? <sighs> my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. My. Alex, I think my. we're dealing Someone's with ghosts. Just a hunch. Maybe. What else could it be? I mean, really. At least none of this is normal. We can agree on I that. I would say ghosts, okay, I would, but what about the weird repeating stuff? Uh -uh. You're not remembering what we've been doing? That, that, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Say 
cam 来发生咩事啊？嗯 ，How am I? Is this an optical illusion or something? Don't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? What are you? What's? Wait, wait. We've done this before. In a dream, thought you know. What? We're still stuck, but I kicked the stupid ball and everything. What more do you want? It's all right. We must have just missed um something. Um.、Uh, I um. It was weird. You were gone for a minute. I did this. I did the repeat thing again, and my reflection talked to me. Talked to you? What、uh, What did it say? Or was it like anything you could even like? What was it doing? It said that I shouldn't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, which is of course totally useless advice for a doppelganger, since Michael's still totally dead. You know, at some point, this is all going to make sense. I just hope it happens before we leave. Huh? This is—it's just like the armoire in the cave, super duper old, but in like new condition. It's one of those um. Magnetophones, I think they're called, or some other real-to-real -real thing from the forties. Why would it be here? You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Really? It is. I think. Let's just keep going and get Ren. I hope they want to like play soccer every once in a while, and that's it.
two Jacks carved their, uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay, on another school trip, they- Stop. <laughs> uh. Is that Nona? Ah, Nona. Do, do, don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Nona. Just don't move. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast and I'm seeing things and forgetting things and I bumped into you once already and it was horrible so we're gonna take it a little slower this what are you talking about back at the beach I'm talking about the Alex I saw at the pier after the cave looked like a freaking 4th of July and I lost track of everybody Nona believe me that wasn't us I don't know that yet so just look you're not gonna talk about my grandfather you're just going to stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Because I've been looking. Clarissa's No, at... no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're huh? actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Thank you all there. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now, too, but... Just hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just... Can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and... It seems pretty safe. Nona, Clarissa's at Fort Milner, okay? She's somehow gotten some two-way to work. Fort Milner? But I think it'd really be better if you just waited for us to find her ourselves. Yeah? And the comm tower is... Where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me. That girl's a peach. And what is with you telling a clearly very deeply troubled person to go explore an abandoned military fort alone? I don't even like that we're gonna have to do it. But Nona? Hey, she wanted to know. I'm not gonna lie to her about her best friend. I just hope she goes to the tower, that's all. For her sake. And for your conscience. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Hey, just for me, why'd you let me flip the switch back at the bridge? To be honest, I expected you to just pull ahead and do it yourself. But you didn't. I just didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? It's easier that way. With boys. All right, well, you don't have to do that with me, all right? Do what you want. I'm not going to fret over it. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing just go in a circle? I, it, it just bore you. Hey, I like history. Remember? No. That army equipment in the tower? Yeah, no, but that's like war history, and this is farming history. There's a difference. Oh, I see. Can I ask you something? <laughs> yeah, of course. You'd think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? Um, I think your smarts are probably about average. I guess the national... <sighs> I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever, um, 
built, or whatever, on the island, back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It used to, I think. Oh man, thank God. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? I've convinced myself. <sighs> good to see you're okay. It's bad out there. No, I'm good. I'm just glad you're here. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, oh, that must oh, be the oh, way station. Oh. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Where did Ren go? Ren! He's probably around here somewhere. The guy wouldn't run off before we got here. I don't think, at least. We're in another... <laughs> the time messing up stuff is happening again. I think it booted Ren somewhere or something. Oh, great. More of that. There's your boy. Hey, Ren! We made it, finally. Um, Ren? Ren! Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, so come on, look alive here. What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this, but... I've seen sleepwalking, okay? Michael sleepwalked, and the worst he'd do is take his pillow into the hallway. This is like something else. Ren, are you in there? Come on, pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Ren! I hope you have a plan B. Plan B? No plan B. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it. So I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing right there. Ren, are you still here? Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Uh, what's... what's happening to him? I have no idea. I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We gotta do something, right? Yeah, um, any thoughts on what we could do? If I did have any thoughts on what would solve this, wouldn't that be a little weird?
Oh. Hotel come Jesus, on, Ren, are, okay. are you? I'll go. Talk through child. Feels stretched. Better. No. Jonas, where did you? We are abounding. Not oh, one. Oh, oh, yeah. Silly. Uh, well, that's, that's good. Leave. Possible. Uh, maybe? But I, I don't really... Grounded. By Adler. So, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. We don't... We don't know what you want. If you could just... Just tell us... What do you want us to do? You stay close. Don't leave yet. Sit still. Bear fruit. Pop tag. Yeah. Oh, I'm out. Ah! ah! Holy mother of God! You guys. God, Ren. Oh, Man, my heart's going like a hummingbird in a. You're alive. I am? I am! Well, why was that a question at first? Why? Why is this... Why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I, I mean, know. I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. And before now, the worst thing that ever happened was like, a kid would lose his shorts to the undertow. We're in big trouble, Ren. Really big trouble. We need to call somebody or get a boat, but we need to get out of here. It's ghosts. She doesn't want to say it, but it's ghosts. And you were possessed by one. <sighs> that doesn't... That doesn't seem like it'd be part of a healthy lifestyle. We still have to go to Fort Milner to get Clarissa, but I think, Ren, you should go to the comm tower. We've been trying to send everybody there. I emphasize trying because this little one likes telling people to go into dangerous places alone. Like Nona. I sense a story here. We'll tell you later. No, you were wrong the first time and you're wrong now. Ren should just come with us to Milner. Um, no, I think I'm with your new brother in training here. I'd really rather just shack up at the communications tower, if that's all right. Great. Then we're all agreed. I just need a little... breather. From... You know what, Ren? You're just... You're a P-word. A big fat P-word. And you know the word I'm talking about. Pimplehead. Exactly. All right. Well, guess we're going that away. so we'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. <laughs> Milner Ho? Milner Ho. Quite Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned? What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is like, 
the direct result of some government secret project. Like, what if there's some um, experimental uh, program or something? And we've been catching like little... No way, Jonas, come on. Conspiracies are comforting because they explain what can't be explained. Well, there is an explanation. I mean, no matter how ridiculous, there is one. <laughs> Whatever. It's like... It's not locked. There's, like, something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? What do you think? Keep looking. I think... We should keep looking. You're probably right. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Oh. Whoa. All right. I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa. So let's just no, no, no. ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been like a really bad thing in my experience. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, really? Even automatic doors like in supermarkets? Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. And well, they're not messing around. Does. Uh, nobody cares anymore. There isn't a guard or anything, it's just a bunch of empty warehouses. You've been inside? Like you've done this before? I guess I should say I've heard that nobody really cares. I haven't been here myself. <laughs> Spooky. Yeah. Spooky. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. I don't know. If you ever get the chance, it's pretty fun. It's like a toy that can kill. Ah, uh, great. See that sign? They were originally going to make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very uh, safe, so I can understand why. Um, Oh, no, 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 no. 
Don't be locked. Come on. Oh, uh, really? Yes, I really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? It's not a trick question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. And he'd been the captain of every sports team he'd ever played on. It was practically an arranged marriage. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Oh, are you, like, into her? No, not at all. Too bitter. Okay. But you can tell me if you are. That's what step-siblings are for. Storing embarrassing secrets. I'm not, but thanks for offering to be my shame vault. Ah, oh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... Kind of morbid. Jonas, what happened? Are you all right? Don't leave me here. Jonas, are you okay in there? Hey, I see no sign of her. Can you tell me if she's okay? Oh fuck! Jong Sai, I see no. 通常恐怖兼最驚係啲咩啊？債鏡。Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't. I, I can't hear anything outside at all. But luckily, this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room. So, like, riddle me that first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Just put your back into it. Be a man here, Jonas. We got stuff to do. I, I can't hear anything outside at all. But there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Ow! I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ. And this isn't really enticing. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is? Okay, what just happened? Cause that, that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and- Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Oh, here's a padlock code, 3418. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I, did, did you see that? In, in the mirror? Oh, the reflection I... was weird. No, I missed it, what happened? The, it was like a reflections. I, I don't know, it 
wasn't normal. I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. It seems all right now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. You think maybe uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything. It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. What? Maybe maybe it wasn't anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so what? since we're stuck anyway, I- You have to be joking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. Okay. Ah, Let's see. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? You know, it just occurred to me she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. <sighs> nah, Clarissa's just being Clarissa, making everything harder than it has to be. Hello? Is this thing. Is this. God, is this. Is this going out or. Wait, I can. Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Man, maybe God, she didn't see anybody... us. I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still got to get to her. Where are you She volunteered for summer. What? The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. <laughs> Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's got to keep the traditions alive. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you, you heard that, <laughs> right? I'm sure it's just the, uh, the evil again. Oh, yeah. I forgot this step in between the finger paint and wearing our lungs. They also drop things. I'm... I don't even know why I ask you. It's not opening. Clarissa! 
Man, when we catch up, I'm gonna tear... It's gonna be limb from limb. It's gonna be like she wasn't wearing seatbelts when I'm finished with her. God! Okay, all right, I know, she's a hoot. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. Just as guilty as a soldier would be who deserted his post under fire. Now, in making an example of you, I. I'm not going to see it. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Ugh. Can't play a game, I don't want to play. God, can you, can you believe this? No, I can't. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like... U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? No, not at all. I mean, why should I care about any of this? Why should you care? <laughs> They didn't care. Oh, oh Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, come on, guys. This isn't exactly fair now. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. Nobody you call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Oh, you're in high school, say, "May I mow the dim jinja?" Why on earth would I? What does this have to do? We are an island race, and through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. Jonas, are, are you uh doing okay? One last round, and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. Nine. Eight. Fifty-three. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers. Twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. Just my mom out there. This is kid. He has been supposed to call my excuse. I'm now obsessed. 哦，升起呢個係咩啦？我記得好似喺外國咧，集思嗰條題咧，咪畫一下嘅。如果你畫咗個火柴人，就知咗咯
The United States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Is this? Are you the dead officers? That sunk on the Canaloa? We are uh, sunken. Oh, what? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. What? I... that was... not fun. Are you... feeling... better? I'm feeling... Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Uh. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Huh? Um... What? Huh? huh? Cross your fingers. Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So, are we soon? Um, are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. You just sounded really distressed, that's all. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is this is like a low frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't. I don't think it can beam out. Really? No, no, no. Isn't there? Any These officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Jonas, wait, we're in another... We got looped again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Hi! Is there anything, like, can we cut her down? Oh, Holy crap. Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? Look, Clarissa might be dead in there. Why? We just heard her. Look, are you feeling okay? I'm not nuts so, Jonas. We've, like, done this. We've gone through this door and seen Clarissa twice now, and once she was hanged, and we're about to do it a third time. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I believe that. You believe this, so, all right, just keep me posted, I guess, on how that develops. <laughs> Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Marissa. Oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to, I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... It's not going to work, Jonas. Huh? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already just... It's okay. Knock yourself out.
Clarissa. Uh, Clar Clarissa, what are you doing? Alex, don't worry. She's like. I can never forget she's that like I am an American, fighting for freedom. Clarissa, will you wake up? And dedicated How could I be there? there will be other ships and other souls to sail. Oh my God! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're 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 not. It's not like we're. Oh God! She she was. She was like possessed. I, I, I just, I just, uh, this is, Jonas. This is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to. We, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, or how to tell them. I mean, I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we, she knows me. This can't. Oh God! And just the fact that I'm the one who, who was here. And God. We'll, we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened. That was... Wait, she... she's... Uh... I can't think of the appropriate word here. Dead? The word is dead. She should be dead, Alex. I watched her. There was no breaking that fall, so... How'd she walk away? This... isn't possible, because... unless she... Let's just put a pin in ghosts and say... until evidence proves otherwise. Well, regardless... Good news? Oh. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Muppets are. Let's huddle up, see how they're doing. Yeah. coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. 
And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to, and I only spent half of it. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about... Wait, second Why brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so... That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. Uh, yeah, we have. Look, we tuned into something in the cave, and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes, that. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat! Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Ren, what? <sighs> you could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. It. I'm sorry. But I've been, like, stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of them was... Well, at... and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... Oh. There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, are you serious? This was your fault. Even a blind guy could flail around and bump into that conclusion. You crawled into that hole. You got us stuck. Guys, come on. And you tuned into the triangle thing, Alex. So you can't pin the entire thing on me. And I freely admit it. In front of... Whatever. In front of Nona and Ren, I blew it. Okay? I should have known better. You didn't blow it, Alex. You only screwed up, apparently, by bringing well, Jonas yeah, along. Yeah, and I freely blame up. your mom for that. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What?! Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah, and she could hardly must- Guys, stop, stop it! Stop! stop. It. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on I'm Main Street. Like and the backup plan for when this, this thing, thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly, 
Anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh, meathead... Just shut up. Both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller... Who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Or your new psycho stepbrother. All right, she doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's fine. Let's just go. What?! First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, we're still... We're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like... Like, I want to be, like, needed. Just... Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Oh. 由呢度行行行行行翻過嚟啊！咁如果我預期咁樣揾，不如我喺度等等船翻，我喺度住幾晚等船翻嚟算啦。OK。We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. You gonna be okay hanging back with the boy? Ren and I will be fine. He's just a little cranky. I'm not cranky. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important. Ah, 完全冇興，冇完全冇興趣，完全唔覺得會再見到佢會好開心咯，我會。嗯、我算啦，我唔理啦，聽日聽日先再玩啦。唉，好，今日玩住到咁多先啦，咁聽日聽日一點幾兩點再開過啦。拜拜，拜拜，拜拜，拜拜。